All right, guys, welcome back. Today we will be installing the plug and play integration or PPI injector bore kit. Here's the whole kit right here. This is everything you get. All you need. It actually comes with six uh, Teflon, six new injector seals for you. Teflon injector seals to put on your injectors. I just don't have them here right now. They're at my dad's house and I'm actually doing this in my apartment right now. Uh, Cause I'm fortunate enough to have the head off. So I'm about to drill and all that in my apartment on this little table right here, but we're gonna make it work cause it's very hot out. It's literally almost a hundred degrees and I did not want to do it outside. So I just said, whatever, head's not that heavy. I just brought it up to my apartment and uh, yeah, long story short. So we're gonna start with the drill bit. This is what we're gonna use first. We're gonna put some grease on the bit, of course, and we're gonna drill down into the injector bore. That's step one. Here's the guide. It just goes right on it. We're just gonna put that in so it just lines up perfect, you know, and literally you cannot mess up. Now, if you, you were planning, most of you guys, pretty much everybody will be doing this in the car. Same rules apply. Uh, it's a little, I can get away with it making more of a mess because it's not in the car and I can get the metal shavings right here onto the table and not have to worry. But that's what the air hose is for. You would screw this down into your spark plug tube over here and literally just hook it up to your compressor and blow it out. So any of the little metal shavings that do get down into the cylinder from drilling, you would be able to get all of it completely out with this air right here, little tiny shavings. It wouldn't be the end of the world too. There's actually a funny story. Uh, Michael told me a guy who just said, oh look, you could just blow it out the exhaust. And he just blew it out the exhaust after he installed the kit. And although we do not recommend doing that guys, no one recommends doing that. So we're gonna drill it out first using the guide. We're gonna put some grease on the bit. The grease on the bit will actually catch a lot of the shavings. You're supposed to use wheel bearing grease, although I didn't, I'm just using regular grease right now to catch catch the shavings on the bit and then you'd go through after you're all done drilling and tapping and everything and uh, blow it out with that. So that'll make sure that no shavings get into the engine. This has already been done with great success by a few bit of people and uh, no more misfires anymore. No more compression getting past the seals. No more ovaled out injector bores, which I would say 90% of M54 heads have ovaled out injector bores. If someone at some point in time did not take the injector out properly with the tool that you're supposed to use straight up, then the odds are your injector bore is oiled out. And if you're chasing misfires under higher boost that you don't know what's going on or just misfires in general, you have no clue, it would be a good idea to take your injector, take the clamps, take the clamp down uh, brackets off and literally wiggle your injectors, even take your fuel lines off. Uh, if they're so bad, you won't even have to take your fuel lines off to see that, uh, that they're ovaled out. If your injector wiggles at all, back and forth, side to side, any way at all, while it's still in the engine with the seal on, that's a that's an ovaled out injector board, guys. And it might not misfire right now, but it could get worse and worse and eventually, that wiggle room right there is just that that's going to be that compression escaping and that's your misfire when you when you uh increase your cylinder pressures with higher boost that's literally what happened to me 100 percent what happened to a lot of people uh honestly it's nice to shed the light on this now so we can get this taken care of finally i'll just go over the last bit of the kit i'm going to show you step by step how we're going to do it but anyway here's your tap your bit, your guide, your air hose, all your six inserts, and then you're gonna put this special Permatex thread, high temperature thread sealant on the back of your inserts when you put it in. When you put it in, you're gonna put that on the back of that, just make sure it stays in place because you, when you put it in, you do not do it tight. You just put them in to where they stop because we do not want them to get seized in there. So it's very important that you just put them in as soon as you feel it stop, just stop. Don't give it any extra force. So let's get started real quick, guys, huh? Let's get, this, let's get this head going so I can get this back on the car and get this built motor running. All right, guys, step one, we're gonna go ahead and get some grease, put it all over our bit. 
We got our guide slid on. Gonna go like that. And please bear with me because I am recording and doing this by myself. So I'm gonna try to get as best I can. It's pretty self-explanatory. Just give it a nice coating. Nice good coating all around it in grease. And then we're gonna start drilling it out. All right guys, and uh, that's how it should look. You got your guide in there. Sticking straight up, I mean, very self-explanatory. And we'll just start drilling. I'm gonna use two hands now because I'm gonna make sure I drill it straight, all right? For the video, you guys know how to drill, right? I hope so. <laughs> so um, we're gonna come back right after I drill it. All right, guys, I just pulled the drill out. As you can see, there's a ton of metal shavings in there. There's actually still some in here. I gotta keep drilling through. And for my sake, I'm just gonna push it all through because it's on a table right now and not getting into the engine. But if you were doing it, you would keep adding more, keep adding more grease to the bit, clean it, and go slower than I am right now. And you'll capture it all, most of it. And then the rest of it will all come out with the blowing it out all right guys after the second grease up and just wiping it out on my table that is the first injector bore hole drilled part one in here look how smooth it came out right down to the table very smooth I stopped hopefully I didn't screw up my table but this is a cheap one so I don't care that much as you can see there we go. Oh, by the way, since I am doing this on a table, I wanted to tell you guys what you do when it's in the car so you make sure you don't hit your um, your piston with the drill bit is you make sure that the piston is all the way down. So you wanna make sure the piston is at the bottom of the engine, whatever cylinder you're drilling in, and that will avoid you hitting it. You'll know when you go through that, you'll have plenty of room, that will avoid you hitting the piston with the drill bit is making sure the piston's the bottom. That is a very important step and trick that you guys need to know when you do this kit in the car. Like, good thing I remembered that to tell you guys. All right, guys, I just pulled the bit out of cylinder four, drilling it out. Now, if you put the grease on it and you do it right, that is how it will look. Most of it will come right out in the first place. And as you can see, we got a little extra left in there, but it's okay, because that's what the air hose is for, to get it all completely out. So don't worry, guys. If you do it right, you'll capture 90% of it right here. That's all the injector bores drilled out very nicely. Now, I don't even have shop air right now, but I, I cleaned them out pretty good. There's a few little shavings I'm gonna go through with some grease and clean up. But right under the head, let's see how much shavings actually will be in your cylinders. So we're cleaning and it coming off of the bit like we have here. And I just put, see all this shavings right here? This is all from drilling out and this all came out right on the bit. If you just take it out once or twice, and go slowly it all comes out let's see how much actually gets in on top of the piston that we got to blow out with this let's see how much after setting the head on the ground really quick this is one two three four five and six cylinder that's not to my finger for what we drilled out that's not that much and i really did a good job on one and two but i was less forgiving like i said because of where i'm at now where it's going to come onto the table but that's not that bad so this air hose would clean those up blow them right out and yeah all right guys now now we have all of our holes drilled out it's time to tap so i'm going to actually be using the guide i'm going to try it out and see if i can use the guide to drill perfectly straight down using a hand tap to, to tap it straight down i mean uh it doesn't come off that way so it only fits on you put it on like that and let's see how this goes but first we're going to put some grease again on the tap now so we can catch the metal shavings yet again and have some lubrication when we're tapping 
and we're doing the last cylinder now. So if you just throw it down, see, wiggle a little, and then that, it won't fully seat, but the guide will seat good enough to where I just use this middle right here as a reference in between this notch and just make sure it's straight. And then just, it lines itself up and you just start tapping now. And now remember, you always go, see it's getting rough now, full 360 or whenever it gets really rough and then you back it up and then full 360 again and you back it up like 180 and back it up to where it gets loose, just wherever it feels nice and loose and then go and continue. And that's how you tap. Now we're gonna tap a little bit more. You see how the guide just falls down right into the hole now? It just seats perfectly in there. Falls down right in and so now you don't even have to do anything. That's why I'm doing it one hand, so easy. One hand while recording and it's just perfectly straight. As you can see, perfectly straight. Easy peasy, easy peasy. Now let's pull out the guide. Now we're about halfway down, I'd say. And that's not, not yet. When it's fully seated, you're about halfway done. Halfway down whenever the guide's fully seated in the bore. Now we're gonna take it out. Let's take it out. Just loosen it. Look at all the metal we got caught right here. Just clumps of it on the inside. So that's very good. And we just wipe it off, put some more grease and repeat the process. So we get as few metal shavings as we can in the engine if you were doing it in your car. All right guys, I completed uh, as you can see, doing the injector board kit, the threads came out very nicely. Every cylinder, look at that, perfect. Beautiful, beautiful. So now, just gotta clean it up before we do the insert. All right guys, now you've got the air hose hooked up for the next step, put in your spark plug tube, and now you can just blow everything out of the cylinder, off of the piston. This will just blow everything right out, perfect little tool. Fits right in nice and blows it all out for my case. Obviously I'm doing it without being in the car. So it's a little different because I just blew it all out with com compressed air the other way. But this is what you do next. Now it's time to put our inserts in. So we're gonna start with the thread sealant and we're gonna put it on the back of our insert. We're just gonna put it about, uh, about down four threads. Michael told me to put it around four threads and we're just gonna rub it around it with our fingers and then we're just gonna put it in with the screwdriver. So we'll get to doing that right now. So the first part now is we're gonna take our Loctide sealant and we're gonna apply it on the bottom of the insert. And we're gonna do it about four threads down just like that. A little bit more. Then we're gonna take our finger and just rub it around the bottom inserts. And the reason we do this is because it pushes all this little sealant up. It's gonna push it up as we go down. So now, after you spend time finding a screwdriver that's perfect enough just to fit right in there, let's, let's do it. So here we go. This is first. I guess we'll just drop it, yeah. Just drop it in there. Line it up. There we go. You can see it fell in smooth. Now it's very important this next step, you do not force it, I've been told. You do not force it, you just, when, as soon as it stops, you stop. And that's the whole point of that thread sealant is to lock it in place and so you can take it out. Otherwise you'll get it seized in the block. So it stopped, that's it, I'm done. I'm done, I don't put any force. That's it. And now we have the insert in perfectly. See right there. All right, real quick guys, if I can capture it, focus in, I wanna give you an example of it not being seated completely. Notice how it's not seated completely. There's a little bit of a gap there where it's the insert still popping up. It should seat nice and flush like this. See how that one's seated inside the crown? 
it should be nice and plush it should be seated inside that one isn't so you might find you might have a little bit of dirt on your threads or something it's okay push past it just don't keep pushing to where you're torquing it you can just push past the dirt that's okay you might need to do that i've just come to find out myself all right guys and to conclude the video the injector port kit successful we got all the inserts every cylinder nice and flush everything worked out perfect it was overall a pretty easy job to do all these steps are the same guys if they were in the car it would be all the same steps except you'd be a little more careful with getting shavings in and taking that drill bit out and greasing it up to catch as much shavings as you can that'd be the only difference really obviously it was a little easier out of the car as well from the angles but follow this guide and do what i told you and you should have a non-misfiring m54 from these injector board kit so good luck everybody i hope everyone has some great results with this like we already have been i'm sure i'm gonna have some great results also they look in nice and flush so i'm sure it's gonna hold the compression in perfectly let's we'll see how they do